Yo, what is going on guys? Stiff, and we're back on the Madden Ultimate Team 16 tips, and this is going to be part two of the How to Make a Million Plus Coins series. If you guys have not, go check out the part one series where I went over the players and setups and how exactly to get a million plus coins in Madden Ultimate Team 16 when you are first starting out. Now, this video is going to be the offensive portion. There's still part three that's going to be coming out either tomorrow or Sunday. That's going to be the de defensive portion, I'm sorry. So make sure you guys keep it on lock on the channel. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and like this video for some more Madden Ultimate Team tips and news and breakdowns. So <clears throat> as you guys can see, I told you guys to pick up the Texans offensive book and the Seattle Seahawks defensive book. Not doing defense. Uh, in this video, I am doing offense. So now I'm going to show you the whole game and my whole offensive scheme when doing the solo challenges and the best part is you can actually do these solo challenges in NFL journey as well because I'm already halfway done with the NFL journey and I've been using this scheme as well so let's get into it now what you want to go into is I form tight pair that's gonna be the little mini scheme and there's gonna be three to four plays we're gonna be running out of it the first one is going to be the HB toss now the best part about this formation is that the defense for the CPU doesn't really base align a lot unless they come out in like nickel formations. So when you have a stacked overside or an overload to the right side with the HB toss, uh, it's going to create mismatches in the defense on your offensive line so the HB toss can work. Now when they come out in nickel formations and formations like this, you could just booty tap and just flip the play to the opposite side by taking your right thumbstick and then going left if you want the play to go left, left if you want the toss to go left, or swiping it right if you want the toss to go right. See, as you can see, we're just calling the HB toss, and then we're basically just reading our defense. We're seeing how many defenders are on the left side, how many defenders are on the right side. So now we saw that safety just dip down, so now we're just going to put the, the play to the left side, and then we're just going to keep gaining our yards. Now, it's very imperative that you guys look at the bottom left of the screen when you are playing calling your calls and have the chew clock on we want to get you know we don't want to get big chunks of yards we want to get four or five six chunks of yards every play just because we want to chew that clock and basically just have two to three possessions a game so now this is going to be the next play it's one of the play action plays it's called pa spot and basically all i really do to this play is i have a couple of variations i either put x the left wide receiver on a drag route or I just cancel the play action for the running back. I just put him as blocking right there. You saw I just left it as is um, because I messed up on the uh, setups because I'm not used to the camera toggles. But that is exactly what we want to do. We, we want to either hit our fullback in the flats, the corner route, or the drag route that's going to be coming in PA spot. And you'll see that a couple times in this video. And also there's a comeback route. So again, we're just pounding the ball, just hitting shoe clock on, and you're going to be completing these games in around 10 minutes or less, maybe a little bit over 10 minutes. So we got it with the HB toss again. We got second and one. We see less defenders on the left side, and we're just going to toss it to the left side, and then we have our blockers that come out and just block for us. And as you can see, we're already in field goal range. Now this is going to be up to you guys. If you guys want to score, you guys can score, but in my humble opinion, or if you guys feel confident that your defense is ready or what have you, I would wait and just get a field goal before half. So I just let it I just let the, the clock drain. The CPU is not gonna use any of their timeouts. So now here's another play that we're gonna be going over in this little mini scheme. It's called the fullback dive. It's a simple just fullback dive whenever you are um, down with two and one or second and one third and one or even if it's like first and five they go off sides or something like that you want to change it up you don't want to just keep doing the hp toss you cannot just keep spamming the hp toss every single play because the cpu is gonna the cpu is actually going to catch on to it and then they're going to stop it a lot more so what i like to do is i like to run the hp toss maybe three times four times and then i like to mix in the hp dive just to keep the uh, CPU on their toes because they can adapt to certain plays. Now, I also like to mix in the uh, HB spot or the PA spot, I'm sorry. And then also there is another play action play that I did not go over in this video, but it's exactly the, it's the, the quick audible to the uh, formation. So right there, as you can see, we just did the HB dive or the FB dive, I'm sorry, a couple more times and we just kicked our field goal right before half. 
Now, it's imperative that I, I don't want to score because I want to finish these games as soon as possible. If you want to score, go right ahead. It's just going to take your game a little bit longer. So he got the ball at half, or the CPU got the ball at half, and I stopped him. I got the ball back, which I will show you defense tomorrow or on Sunday in the next video in part three. And now we got the ball back, and we just start off with an HB dive or an HB toss. So right here, we're just going to show you the uh, PA spot. I could keep running the ball, but for... Uh, tutorial purposes and showing you guys the whole exact scheme I want to pass the ball but I could easily finish this game off so right here um, our main read is gonna be the flat on PA spot and then that little hitch route by B it's a little comeback route the CPU seems not to play it because of the route that are on the field you have the flat route by the fullback and then you have the corner route by one of the tight ends and then you got a drag route coming and again right here he's open you gotta get a tight end that can catch the ball that would have been a first down I'm just showing you because the comeback route does come open more times than not and I like to mix this play in because again you don't want to keep spamming runs because the CPU will stop you and it's only a matter of time before you get yourself into a third and long situation or a fourth and short situation where PA spot will definitely be a clutch play call to call and you'll end up getting the first down. Now I like to maybe call PA spot maybe four times, five times a game along with the other play action play that's in here. Again, I'm going to call PA spot one more time and I'm going to drag X. That's the one of the adjustments that I like to do. And we're going to actually end up hitting our drag and end up getting the first down. Now, as you can see, we're just chewing up the clock. Look, it's already a two-minute warning. I could have, this game could have probably been over by now um, if I did not keep right, uh, passing the ball. But I wanted to show you guys the full and complete scheme because this is a tips video. And this is exactly what I've been doing. I'm already halfway done with the NFL journey. I finished two gauntlets. Now, if you guys are wondering what difficulty this is on, this is on pro. And I have done this on all pro. It does work. The only difference is... By the time you get to solo challenges when you're on all pro or all men, you have to beef up your line just a little bit. I'm doing this all with a 75 over team. I beat all pro with the 75 over overall team, but you have to beef up your line you're, because it's very imperative that your linebackers or I'm sorry, your line knows how to block because if they don't learn how to block, that's exactly what could happen to you. Uh, they could block shit and they could get you in the backfield now What's pesky about the last two minute warning is that your CPU is going to use up all this timeouts because it's only a three nothing game So now I also want to know something else that I do is I take that right uh, Tight end and sometimes what I'll do is I'll motion him out that this is for advanced players now This is just a little advanced tutorial Which you want to do is because the CPU doesn't know how to run commit and it doesn't really care which side you're running the ball to you can take that right tight end and either move them right if you're going to the right side. And what that does is it creates a tight end on a cornerback situation and he'll just pancake his defender and then you'll get even more yards. But that's an advanced tip. Uh, I could show you a video on that if you guys really want to see it. But that's the end of the video, guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Look out for part three tomorrow. And if you guys have not, check out part one on how to create a million coins plus in Madden Ultimate Team 16 at launch. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.